Alright, lady and gentlemen, we are back with the more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth, and here we are after getting up to the third floor and fighting another FOE we weren't supposed to because I got set up for the Okie Doke pretty hard, but we beat him. We beat him. And we got 100% on the second floor, and I believe this is what this cutscene is about. Yep, the Abyss Mirror. Let's see what we get. This is. Alright, let's see what he finds out. Let's see what he crafts. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Please make use of it. Body Soul Reverse. Interesting. Look at all this. All this nonsense. Wait, 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 wait. We have to go back to the first floor for two reasons. To give the gear to a robot, and then we have to go to the first floor to see if this puzzle, the puzzle we solved last time is correct. So let's sell all the materials really quick. Please wait a moment as I see what I can create with this. Secret fan, black claw, struggle, Kaiser armor, storm pin, black robe, blah 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 blah. Accessories. Body so reverse. Oh my goodness. Like, are you serious? Her max HP doesn't get swapped though, which is kind of lame. This would have been a nice way to like. Let's say if like my max HP, like my current HP that's 40 or that's 309 got swapped with the uh, my current SP, that would have been a nice way to kind of like cheat the system and heal infinitively for free. Oh well, I'll buy it anyway just in case I can do something like that. I'm not gonna equip it to Chie. Matronus, oh my God. Gun name for the mousepiece of God. Seraph wing tangled thread. The seraph wing I probably get from the persona. Uh, one of the, the, the jester's persona. Better, yeah, I probably get it from Michael, right? Or one of those personas, the judgment personas. Dig a did do. Alright, so what we want to do. Definitely save the game. We're gonna view this stroll and then we're gonna go start climbing the clock tower again. Holy cow. Oh, and at least the clock. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, look at how. Dude, this. Look at how many strolls we just got from going through the third floor. Holy shit. I guess we're really almost done with the game because the fourth floor is usually the end of each labyrinth, right? Or the last floor of each labyrinth. But anyway, let's start viewing a lot of these strolls. Here we are in the food court. A number of your companions are gathered here, but they seem quiet. Hey, man. What do you think about this whole we're going to disappear thing? The uh... idea of everything I ever did or said or not existing is just makes me laugh. It's hard to imagine. Mm. I agree. It was sprung on us just so suddenly. If I were to disappear, would it mean that my mom never gave birth to me? Would she have had another child and raised them instead? <sighs> Hearing that definitely threw me for a loop. I know we can't get impatient, but now I keep thinking we have to get up there as fast as we can. I worry we won't have the time to head back, even if we get tired. I can understand that. You're actually, you're all actually fighting, so it must be mentally grueling. Come on. <sighs> Just shut up and rest. There's no way we can get through that whole thing without any breaks. Yes. It's just like Tartarus. As much as we like to tackle it all at once, we must head back many times before we can reach the top. Yes, I know that very much. Because mm. we get tired much faster while we're there. <sighs> I'm trying to say... What I'm trying to say is everyone has their limits. Those who don't know theirs will pay a stiff price for it. We gotta rest up when we can so we can fight when we need to. That's the, that's the most important thing. It's not like we're superheroes. 
Shinjiro Senpai. <laughs> cooldown time is crucial, especially when it matters most. Even I guess has to cool down after Orgia mode, yeah? Um... That's a bit different. He's right though, if we drive ourselves to the point of collapse, then we're really screwed. Ah, I see your point. I guess that's what makes you guys our senpai. I feel like I've learned a whole lot just now. Hmm. Sorry, just just sipping on this Starbucks Frappuccino Mocha. Anyway, let's rest up now and then head back to that clock tower, because I'm kin. Damn right. You should brace yourselves and head to the clock tower where Ray awaits. Digga dude, the battle without honor. My grandpa has no pathetic cards. Third floor concession alley at the leftover deli. As your companions eat, Akihiko and Shinji face each other. You're amazing, and this isn't all you know how to cook, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, you're, put you're pretty impressive too. You act, you're like an encyclopedia when it comes to bodybuilding stuff. <laughs> oh look, who would have thought the day would come when we see these two <laughs> having something nice to say to one another? Are they feeling okay? <laughs> That's what you think, right? But you might be shocked to learn they're doing it by themselves. Though it does seem like it's a real strain on both of them. Look at the grimace on their faces. Uh, you're a, uh, well, you're tough, but fast too. When you started eating those raw eggs, I thought your brain had turned to muscle. But raw eggs are cool. Same goes for you, Shinji. You look and act like a thug, but you always hold it. <laughs> you always hold an old lady's hand when she's crossing the street. Saying nice things about people face to face is harder than it looks. <laughs> this really wouldn't have happened if they hadn't opened up to each other back there. Huh. You don't think it's just a twist on their usual bickering? Hey. Look, Shinji, I've been listening to what you, what you're saying, and I can't tell if you're praising or mocking me. I hope you don't think I'm all muscle and no brain. Say that again. What was that? It ain't my fault. I can't think of any other compliments. It sure is for talking about your muscles all day. In the hell with you, I look and act like a thug? You nag so much, I think you're my sister-in-law. <laughs> Fine, a bunch of empty words aren't our style anyway. The only language we need to speak is with our fist. Huh? Stop this, you have to settle this peacefully. Wait! Please don't fight over me. Back off, Ted. This is our problem, stay out of it. And here we go again. It's a good thing though, they're being honest with their feelings. All they need is a, is a riverbed, and then they be set. <laughs> Should we go another round two? Oh yeah, wait. So he maxed out his, uh, I guess Hero maxed out his uh, social link with Yosuke before they came here. No way, your punches hurt too much, bro. Hey. Wait, what are you guys standing around all calm for? Crap. Oh crap, he shifted targets to us. <laughs> We're going to butt heads like as much as we need. This is, that's what we decided after all. Now come at us. Huh? Are we gonna be forced to join in there? Let's do this. Yay! The great debate of fists has begun. Who will be the last one standing in this death match of love and friendship? Ready, fight! Um... Nothing's changed. Actually, this might be worse than usual. Oh, Zen! <laughs> Zen is laughing. Oh my god! The Harbinger of Time is laughing. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe this isn't so bad after all. You pass some time with your companions. You gain a black eye, but who get, who the fuck cares? You can go to Elizabeth to get it fixed. Mitsuru is too trusting. Really? <laughs> That's the last thing I would have uh, heard from somebody. Second floor display hall, go you game land. You ran into your companions coming out of the hallway. Out of the display. <laughs> that shooting game was fun. It reminds me of Call of Duty. It was, nice, it was a nice way to break out the usual routine. Uh, routine. That aside, you're all very good at hitting the targets. <laughs> we don't use evokers for nothing, you know. If you get to my level, any kind of gun feels natural. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Yukari get mad again. Is something the matter, Mitsuru-san? Huh? Oh yes, I agree. <sighs> that, that's mean. How is that even you... Is that how even... What? Oh, excuse me. Is that how even you think of me? That's not what I meant. Mitsuru, who, whose attention has been elsewhere, seems flustered. 
I assume she was lost in thought until now. I'm sorry, it's my fault for asking everyone to go target shooting. Did it wear you out? No, it isn't. That's that's not the problem. I'm fine. Let's then see. why don't we take a break for something to drink? <laughs> I'll go buy the drinks. What do you guys want? <laughs> me, me, I want. Huh? I'll take your orders last, Junpei. Damn! Uh, I like some milk. Um. Cider for me, please. What about you, Mitsuru Senpai? I'll. Let me see. What would be good? I'll leave the decision to you. Would you rather have something hot or cold? I'll let you decide that as well. Are you serious? <laughs> huh? What's so funny? Now I know why you seem so out of it. Mysterious Senpai, you don't need to get my opinion on stuff like that. That's going too far. I see. <laughs> what was I thinking? I take back what I said. I'd like some tea. <laughs> so that was it. You just need to get used to it little by little. I'm sure you'll discover the best amount of space to give each other eventually. Huh? I just had a great idea. Mitsuru Senpai, I'm really thirsty. Hungry too. Hmm. What's this about all of a sudden? <laughs> I want a Frank Furter on a stick, a corn dog, and some donuts. Yori? <laughs> and a cup of cider too. Well, you can take care of the rest, Senpai. I'll pay you back someday. Hmm. Don't get carried away, Yori. I haven't yet grown that much as a person. <laughs> Mid-serious <laughs> mid smile is as cold as ice. That's a pity. It's time for your execution. <laughs> what? Come on, it was just a joke. <laughs> yeah! And Junpei was never heard from again. <laughs> you enjoy some time with your companions. <laughs> Looks like he won't ever join my party. I want Hagakori Ramen. Hagakori Ramen. Hagakori Ramen. Hage ramen. Third floor concession alley at the leftover deli. Your companions are gathered in front of the sign. Uh... Teddy seems to be in the low spirits. Worried about Ray? Ooh. I'm worried, all right. I was remembering how much Ray trying to love to eat, eat at this stall. Teddy, I'm Aww. so hungry. What? That too? Karamaru san is complaining about his hunger level as well. <sighs> We're all sick of takoyaki and and whatever that other word he just said. I could go for some ramen right now. Mm -hmm. You mean a hagakuri bowl? <laughs> I want to eat a hagakuri too. I always make sure to go there when I'm in uh, Port Island. We all ate them when we went on our school trip together. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> that trip was a lot of fun. After so many obstacles, I finally reached the big city. <sighs> I recall you looking highly dubious during that trip. Wow. Damn. <laughs> highly dubious. <laughs> I've eaten there too. Their ramen is delicious. I agree. Hmm? What is this ramen? Hmm. I don't think anyone here serves it, but we eat it often in our world. It's long, hot, and you eat it by slipping it down. The main ingredient of the noodles is flour. Ramen is therefore the same as takoyaki. Mm -hmm. A long takoyaki that, that you slurp. I see. <sighs> hey, you gave him completely the wrong idea. <laughs> Woof! Koromaru-san wishes to eat ramen as well. Is that healthy for him? Hell no! Aww. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure Shinji can whip up something... So, ramen, even you can eat Kuramaru. Huh? What? <laughs> ramen for dog, hmm? I'm curious as to what ingredients and method one would use. <laughs> so am I. Is it safe for dogs? How would I know? <laughs> Please make ramen for bears, too. What? Good idea. Make some ramen for humans for me. What? Are you serious right now, Chie? Oh, I... Alright, alright. I'll get started with some noodles. Assuming the ingredients are in any of these stalls, that is. <laughs> hmm. long taco, uh, a long takoyaki that one slaves down, is that desirable? I don't understand it at all. For crying out loud. I'm making you some too, Zen. <laughs> I look forward to it. Zen is smiling. 
Thin is smiling. Do you enjoy some time with your companions? Dooga dooga, dooga dooga, dooga dooga, do the doogas, dooga dooga, dooga dooga, do the doogas, dooga dooga. <laughs> Alright, so now that we saved the game, it is time to head right back in to the labyrinth. But this time we're gonna go to the first floor of the labyrinth to pretty much hand in an entrant, or to pretty much hand in a cog to a robot, fix the robot, and then we gotta go open up this chest. Here we go, here we go, here we go, y'all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Dig it, 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 dig it. Here we go, guys. There's a tin robot on the heap of rubble. You put the extra gear in. It's energetically assembling the junk line around. I see. So it was a construction robot. You should wait until it's done. Waiting for the robot. Waiting for the robot. The power of junk was assembled to create a delta drive. Is that better than an alpha drive? The tin robot quietly stops moving. Robots who complete their duties, such as this one, stop moving. That's a sad explanation, like the narration of the nature documentary. I actually do feel sorry for it. Would you stop moving too, Aichan? I I will not know until the time comes, but I heard this saying once. When a goal is reached, a new goal will show itself. Those were Akihiko-san's words. I feel the same. I see. <laughs> Those are wonderful words. Indeed. Let's say Raychan first. I'm sure we'll find a new goal afterwards. Yes. Digga 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 do. How could you hate this music? If you hate this music, you're a bozo, a bozo who has no taste in music. <laughs> digga digga do do. Delta Drive greatly raised critical hit rate. Chie, here you go, here you go. Upgraded Alpha to Delta. Upgraded to a Delta 2 terabyte hard drive. With 84 gigabytes of RAM. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, that's impossible, dude. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So now what we gotta do is pretty much walk up to that chest all the way over here. Where that chest is. I should actually label that with a chest. Which way is faster, I wonder? I think this way is actually faster. Here we go, we finally we reached the, the treasure, box. A treasure box. Hopefully this is the correct treasure box. Copper. 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 Let's open up the box. Alright, here we go. <gasps> you find a bomb of life inside. Is that it? The fragile key breaks. It seems you won Elizabeth's Battle of the Wits. You should report to the nurse's office later. The Battle of the Wits. The Battle of the Wits. First off, we're gonna use a go home. We need to go to her office anyway to hand in his quest. And not only that, but we also need to heal the fuck up. Welcome. What's up? Let's get healed first of all. Report the request. Battle of the Wits. I see. It seems that I have lost this battle, but just in case it was luck, let's go over the answer. Really? Glasses are A, while lenses are B. Spoons are A, while knives are B. Carrots are A, while potatoes are B. Each of the words in the A category has two of the same letter together, like the R and carrots. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> Once you figure this out, looking at the words copper, mercury, and lead, copper belongs to A, while mercury and lead belong to B. Splendidly done. Therefore, the treasure box that did not fit with the others would be the one located on the first floor. By the way, I have removed the locks in the contents from the remaining treasure boxes. Do not worry. This will be your reward. Alright, good. So I can go back to the other boxes and pick them up. The discount ticket. No. I'm sure that the final battle will involve you and your opponent trying to outsmart one another. You must keep a cool head even in that most dangerous situation. Do that and you'll be forced to do a... A what? Hmm. 
A recounter with who? A force to be... A force to be a recounter. What? What are you saying? I don't even understand what that word means. That's the first time I ever heard of it. Alright. So we healed up. We did all the quests so far. We're probably going to get a couple more quests near the end of this labyrinth. Most likely. Because we still got to fight the damn extra boss in the Inaba Pride exhibit. We can't fight it now until we get the official request. So what we're going to do is go to the workshop. Sell all these other items that we just got. From... Oh, it seems that you have both a promotion ticket and a discount ticket. They grant each they each grant a 10% discount, so you will begin receiving a 20% discount from this point forward. Good stuff. Man, I should have waited until I got 20% discounts before I started buying the ultimate armors. I didn't know. See, now they only cost 388. They used to cost 460. 460,000. Jeez, I should have waited. I should have waited. Duga, duga, duga. Teddy, Teddy Chie. Revival bead, bomb of life. Revive and restore all HP. We need the gold clockwork. It's probably a FOE we gotta fight, right? Let's see. Purifying water, remove stat moves, brave int. Do, 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 do. Homunculus. You know, we're gonna stock back up on this just in case we run into another FOE. Because we used two homunculus before during the fight that you guys did not see off. Uh, I mean, that you guys did not see on camera. I actually removed the fight. But it was basically me fighting the FOE. He used Mamudun. And basically, I got away because I had two homunculus. <laughs> I was so safe because he used, um, he used like an instant kill that was targeting three of my, or my entire party. Two people in my party dodged it. The other two do uh, used the homunculus and the last person got killed. But anyway, right now we got to start making progress up the floor. Da do ga do ga da do ga do. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Um, let's start from the furthest floor. Alright, so we made it back to where we were before. And now we can get through this uh, power spot. We couldn't get that originally. Or we couldn't collect any items from that spot originally because we didn't have, uh, we had a, a full arsenal of items. Whoa, what is that? There's so many dead ends. We'll just have to head back and find another way. Oh. One moment, please. What could this button be for? Don't press it. Why not try pressing this button? If being pushy doesn't work, you can get this. <laughs> could then give it some space. No. First and foremost, that's not how you use that phrase. And anyway, it's probably for the best that we don't push this obvious suspicious button. No. I guess might have a point. <laughs> You're usually the careful one around here. <laughs> Even I get tired of being the prize people sometimes. In our journeys here, I've realized that caution isn't everything. One must be bold at times. We haven't pushed this button yet. We can always step away afterwards, so I guess was exactly correct. Huh. <laughs> then Mitsuru, you want to do the honors? Huh? Very well. I'm pushing it now. Everyone be prepared for anything. Mitsuru... Cautiously, uh, cautiously pushes the button. I thought she was going to boldly press the button. Baby girl, press my button. The wall slid upward. <sighs> I see. That wall is built like a piston. This button seems to control its vertical movements. I wonder if this will actually block anything like when we go up. Oh man, this might get complicated. Like... We can open this, but it'll block up like a path on the upper floors of the uh, clock tower. That'd be dumb. I hope it's not like... Because that's how Kingdom Hearts... I just thought about Kingdom Hearts there for a second. When she said Piston, I'm like, Piston? Oh no, not Kingdom Hearts. Because uh, Hollow Bastion had like... The first Kingdom Hearts and Hollow Bastion had like a puzzle where you had to push buttons and raise like these... Raise these freaking... Uh, freaking... I guess you could call them levers or whatever. 
and it would block off certain pathways. Hopefully that doesn't happen in this game. I found myself holding my breath in suspense. This concludes Mitsuru-san's first pushing of a button. That's no way to finish things off. If the wall went up, it might be blocking something on the next floor. Yeah, we should keep an eye out. I just said that. Shall we proceed? Please be careful. I'm sensing the presence of the Reaper on this floor too. Oh boy. Looks like they're not playing around anymore. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Don't worry, we may not look like it, but we're used to rescu or rescuing folks. Chie. Well, as they're talking there, I'm going to be placing shortcuts. Just keep your mind on when we reach the summit and you're reunited with Ray. Sorry about that pause, guys. I actually had to go do something. Hmm. I'm sorry. Or rather, thank you. <laughs> what better time than now to show the results of our training? Let's go, Chie. <laughs> right away, Master. Digga digga do, digga do, digga do, digga do, digga do, digga do. Shortcut right there. Shortcut right here. The stairs are right here. Oh my God! They got those bitch ass spiders in the next room. Let's go. You see them jumping around over there? Motherfucker! Yo, almost got bopped. We're gonna name that dude the yellow one. We're gonna make this dude the the red one. Whoa, they go in the same spaces. Are you kidding me? Yellow. All right, so I'm gonna have to make a different color to represent that they're both gonna be right there. So I'm gonna put that as a blue one. Put that as a blue one. All right, we got through that damn room. Holy shit, I took it slow as fuck because I wasn't trying to fight these dudes. This way. These dudes can actually fuck me up. I gotta somehow walk up there too. I found an FOE. Be careful. Well, the only reason why I'm walking over here right now. Is that pretty much fill in the map? I think I just filled it out. Oh, I filled in the map. This motherfucker. All right. Forward. Whew. All right, we did it. So we're now in this other room. I have found a treasure box. We got the chaos robes. Another useless item. Can you still hold all your items? You should probably organize them. Alright, so that was a useless fight, by the way. Oh, right now, what we need to do... Fuck it, the Reaper's starting to move. Oh, bitch-ass Reaper. There's a switch right here. There's a piston blocking this. Yeah, we, we would be w able to walk right here, but it's blocking our path. So we gotta find a way to get back downstairs. Oh, the piston is literally blocking them. He can't do nothing. Look at that. He's trying to get to us. He lit up. Motherfucker. Is he gonna try to come my way? Alright, so if we have the pistons up... If we have the pistons up, he can't follow us. That's interesting. So this is where another set of stairs is. Hmm. That wall looks clean. We need to we need to basically uh lower that piston. I mean, he, obviously. Huh? Looks like there's a switch. this place that's pretty good thank you very much so since we are here what we're gonna do is actually go get that chest we might as well just go get that chest heading forward damn it 
It's over there. The chest we need to get. That son of a bitch. They set me up. They try to set me up. Yo, they try to set me up again. Over there. Oh my god, my inventory is full, so I can't get the item. No. Okay, let's. You know what I can do? I could use a. Uh, might as well just use a disperse amulet really quick. The repulse alloy. Wait, it's a key item anyway. So why would it fill up my inventory? Yeah, like why? My inventory is full, but they won't put it in my inventory because it's a key item. So why do they do it? They. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That's all I can say right now. Oh my god. There's an FOE. Careful. We're gonna go to the right. No, we're gonna go to the left. Oh my fucking goodness. No! Well I gotta leave anyway. <laughs> we gotta get we gotta get the fuck out of here anyway, so. I set myself up for that one. So, oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> we coming for that, coming for that booty. Swiggity swooty, we coming for that booty. So now let's go to the workshop, sell all these items, give this item the uh, decline. Oh, oh, Theodore, excuse me. This is. I call them Klein. <laughs> this ain't Sword Art Online. Repulse Bell. Are you serious? They're finally gonna give me repulse bells. The better, basically, they're the better. They're the better disperse amulets. They're the top tier. They're the top tier uh, estomas. Look at that. Look how much money it costs, though. Like, really? You know what? I'm balling right now, so I'm gonna buy me like. I'm gonna buy me like seven of them. See, now I got a reason to farm money. I got a reason to farm money now. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back to advance up the clock tower even more and see if we can get past the Reaper on the fourth floor. So I'll see you guys next time for more Persona Q.